Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I will review the Glorious Model O Minus. And I know I am quite late reviewing this mouse, but it is still one of the best mouses to date. The Model O Minus is basically just a scaled down version of the Glorious Model O. It weighs in at about 58 grams and about 90 grams, including the wire. Initially, I was very skeptical about the honeycomb design Glorious used. However, surprisingly, it didn't reduce the durability of the mouse that much and really helped trim off a lot of weight. The build quality of the mouse is decent, but not amazing. As you can see, if I apply enough pressure, it does kind of make this cracking noise. I give the build quality 7.5 out of 10. One of the things that I absolutely like about this mouse is the gliding and tracking. I found that the gliding and tracking has helped a lot with my aim in video games. The gliding is extremely smooth and is probably the best in any mouse I have seen. The tracking is also very good and responsive and I don't see any smoothing or jittery tracking. Furthermore, the switches on this mouse are really nice and tactile, although personally, I find them a bit heavy. Here is the sound test. Also, the power cord like cable on the mouse is one of the best cables I have seen on any mouse. It's more flexible and softer than most other mouse cables. Lastly, I really love the software for this mouse. It may not have the cleanest GUI, but it includes many options that other mouse softwares don't include. For example, the debounce time. This prevents any double clicking problems or allows you to enable double clicking if you like. However, I believe this software is not compatible with macOS, so if you do own a MacBook, you won't be getting the full functionality of this mouse. Those were the things that I like about the mouse. What are the things that I dislike? Firstly, personally, I'm not very keen on the scroll wheel. For me, I find the scroll wheel a bit too weighted, as I have quite a light grip on the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel in this mouse is a notched wheel with 24 steps. Another thing that I'm not very keen on are the side buttons. Although they are okay, I sometimes find them a bit inconsistent. So, another two things to note. Because of the honeycomb design, some dusters get trapped inside the mouse. As of yet, I haven't seen any performance issues or durability issues because of this, but it is a minor fallback and it is quite annoying to clean out later. Also, another thing that I noticed, as there isn't any le honeycomb design on the left and right buttons, the mouse is slightly more weighted towards the front, but this hasn't affected my gaming whatsoever. Overall, I give the Model O minus a 8.5 out of 10. It's just a really amazing mouse, and for the relative cheap price point at around 50 USD for the matte block version of the mouse, it's definitely worth checking out. And that's the end of the review. I hope you found it helpful. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any new video ideas or any ideas to help me improve, please comment them down below. I really appreciate the feedback as it helps me improve my videos. Thank you so much for watching.